Florence Griffith Joyner captivated the world with her outrageous looks and lightning speed. She's the fastest woman of all time. The world records she set in 1988 for both the 100 and 200 meters still stand. Flo Jo exploded into national prominence at the 1988 Olympic trials in Indianapolis. With her 10.49 seconds in the 100 meters, she smashed Evelyn Ashford's four-year-old world record by three tenths of a second. She destroyed a 100-meter Olympic final in Seoul, recording the second fastest time in history to take the gold medal. Boosted by an invincible self-confidence, she broke the world record for the 200 meters, lowering it to 21.34 to win her second gold. Her improvement was so great, her times so exceptional, that for most, performance-enhancing drugs were the only answer. Florence Griffith Joyner had been dogged by unfounded drug allegations until her death in 1998. Current runners and coaches condemned the unreachable benchmark she set. Unable to get anywhere near it, they think women's sprint is suffering as a result of what she did to the times in the 100 and 200 meters. Traditional thinking dictates that sprinters are born, not made. It's impossible to be a world-class sprinter without genetic predisposition or drug abuse. Fortunately, sports science and coaching practice have done much to refute this limiting statement. Speed as a motor skill is definitely trainable. Flo Jo did not possess supernatural physical abilities. Not being faster or stronger than other runners, she mastered the skills of sprinting to the extent that it was ahead of her time by at least 30 years. The analysis of her world record performances in the 100 and 200 meters shows that she had an average start. Her 60-meter en route split was very good, but not the best. Unlike the majority of the sprinters, Flojo had a very smooth transition to peak velocity without rushing her acceleration. She reached maximum stride length and step frequency almost simultaneously as she hit the top speed between 60 and 70 meters. This allowed her to reduce deceleration, making the last 40 meters the strongest part of her race, which she covered in 3.6 seconds. She had a perfect pacing strategy for the 200 meters as well, not trying to win the start, patiently running through the first 100 in 11.18 seconds, she effortlessly transitioned onto the straight, covering the second 100 in 10.16 seconds, a feat unheard of in a women's sprint. All this was possible owing to hours and hours of advanced training, sharpening technical models and fine-tuning the nervous system. Even a quick visual comparison with the fastest female sprinters in history shows that Florence Griffith Joyner has a superior running technique in every aspect of the race. Knees together at touchdown has long been considered as a key distinguishing factor of the world's fastest sprinters. It is indicative of how much time the foot spends in contact with the track. Flojo had a ground contact time of 0.071 seconds, which is the shortest contact time ever recorded at maximum velocity for men or women. For comparison, contact times among women's 100-meter finalists in London ranged between 0.088 to 0.104 seconds. Great athletes have excellent leg stiffness. They have some bend, but the leg remains relatively stiff throughout the stance phase, maintaining good bounce and elasticity. The back leg thigh swings through, forming a figure four. Weaker sprinters usually collapse at the knee as they hit the ground. This collapse and extra bend increase ground contact time and energy loss, which slows the athlete down and makes each stride more difficult. Speed is a combination of power and neuromuscular coordination, also known as fast coordination. It is an interaction between opposing muscles, the contraction and relaxation that happens in nanoseconds. It is almost invisible to the eye, but if finely tuned, it creates the impression of the movements as light, relaxed and fast. Halfway through to the finish line in the Olympic final, Flo Jo breaks into smile, demonstrating a perfectly tuned nervous system for very fast coordination. One of the most overlooked aspects in modern sprinting. Relaxation, which was the key to me winning three gold medals and a silver in Seoul. Based on outstanding skills and hard work, Flo Jo's world records are obviously not superhuman. There are several athletes that can potentially break them if they improve their running technique in the neuromuscular coordination.